When you draw buildings, do you have problems getting the lines going in the right direction? And does perspective put you off totally? Well, being an architect, I love drawing buildings. And even though I understood the principles of perspective, I still had to work out a way to apply them to sketching on location. What I realised was that it all came down to seeing angles and getting them on my page as accurately as I could. So I want to share with you my favourite four ways of sighting and measuring angles. Number one, think about the hands of a clock. The most basic skill is to see the angles as they actually are from our viewpoint rather than what our object brain thinks they are. So a handy way of doing this is to think about a clock face and try to work out what time is represented by the angles we are looking at. This helps you see them. But how do you get them on the page? Number two, focus on eye-hand coordination. The best way is simply to rely on your eye-hand coordination. Train your eye to track along the edge and then to move your hand in sync at the same time. Pause before you start the line and then go, eye and hand together. This takes practice and is one of the reasons I sketch all the time to improve this coordination. It's by far the best and the easiest way to draw angles. Number three, draw in the air and hold your book up. If your eye-hand coordination isn't as good as you would like, try drawing in the air. Rather than just tracking your eye along the edge, actually trace the edge with your pen in the air. Then hold your book up nearby. Draw in the air and then draw on your page. It's also easy to compare the angles when your book is up in the air. Number four, measure using plumb lines. If you want to be accurate, you can use horizontal and vertical measurements to position the endpoints of an angled edge. Here I use the vertical edge of the corner of the building to work out the endpoints of the sides. This involves some site measuring using your pen, but it results in a more accurate sketch. So there you have it, my favorite four ways to draw angles. Number one, think about the hands of a clock. Number two, focus on eye-hand coordination. Number three, draw in the air and hold your book up. Number four, measure using plumb lines. Let me know if you have any other ways that you use to get more accurate angles in your sketches. And whatever you do, have fun.